In Creo Schematics, when you are preparing to export your information to Creo Parametric for logical referencing, you often have to go through a process of changing a number of different properties so that they have the correct intended value. And that can often be tedious. Let's take a look at this. For example, here I have a connector. I'm going to select it, right mouse, click and hold, and choose properties. And for some reason, number of pins wasn't filled out in here. And I also don't have the model name property, so I would want to add that. Well, sometimes you can get away with using the control key for changing the properties of multiple entities at once. I've selected both of the connectors. I can right mouse click and hold and choose properties. Here's number of pins, but it's grayed out. It doesn't allow me to change the value. So that's something I would have to change one by one. Now one thing that I am able to do here is add an additional parameter. So for example, I need model name so that I can designate these later on. Let me find it in the parameter selector list. I will click the OK button. Now I have model name in here, and this one I can actually fill in. I can put in the name of the part in Creo Parametric. But again, I wasn't able to fill in everything. Let me click the OK button out of here. I'm going to show you a trick I learned from my buddy Lee at the last company I worked for, and he is by far the best user of Creo Schematics I know. I've got both of these selected. I can use this button down here to show something called the parameter panel. And you can enter in different values here for multiple objects in the parameter panel. So for example, let me go over here. Let's see which ones do I want to fill out. Oh, here I have the number of pins. Let's double click in there and set the values that I want. I want to set that to a value. Eight. So that is good. Nice little tool for filling things in. Let's take a look at a more extreme example, our different entry ports. And to select the ports, I'm going to use the filter over here and change this to port. Just to make sure that I'm getting what I want. Here I've selected one entry port. Let me collapse the uh, parameter panel for a moment. I'm going to right mouse click and hold and choose properties. And here are all the different things that need to be filled out. I see that default internal length has not been set in here. So I could change this. Let's say I wanted to try to change multiple ports at once. Let's cancel out of here and with my filter set to port. I'm going to swipe a box and just grab eight of these ports here. When I right mouse click and hold and go to properties, I have many fewer properties that I am allowed to fill out compared to what I actually want to fill out. I'm not able to do a multi-select and use the properties dialog box for this. Let me cancel out of here and I'm going to swipe a box to get all of the different ports over here. Once again, I will go to the parameter panel and I'm going to make this a bit longer so I can see all the different values in here. And you'll notice right now we are on the port parameters tab. There are four different tabs in here. Previously, I was on the component parameters tab. There's also one for fiber parameters and cable or pipe parameters. So here I have all my different entry ports in here. And so the default internal length is unset for all of these different ports. I can use the shift key to select all of them. And down here, I have a pencil icon that allows me to modify that parameter. So for example, maybe I want to use a default internal length. Maybe I want to add in about an eighth of an inch. Let me put in 0.125. Just make sure that it is long enough. And you'll see that way I've changed the parameters for all of those at once. Another thing that this allows me to do, if you take a look at the different buttons, you can add new parameters to all of the different objects. Here we have the ability to delete parameters from objects. You can also apply a data set or remove a data set from different objects. And where this really helps me out, oops, deselected everything, is I do something that is kind of nutty. Oops, actually got the components. Let me make sure my port selection tool is selected. So most people are smart. They use a single coordinate system called entry for routing. Here you can see entry filled out over here. I like to do something different. I like to do pin to pin routing where I have an individual coordinate system for every single pin. 
This dialog box makes it a lot easier for me to change those different values. I can just go in here and change the different numbers in the table as opposed to doing it manually. So for example, let me collapse the panel and show you otherwise how you would have to do it. Again, if I use the port tool over here and I select multiple different ports and go to properties, you're not able to fill in entry port from here. So usually what I would end up doing is just selecting each port, going to properties, changing the value of the entry port parameter, then selecting another one and it updates in here and changing the value. But again, it is much quicker and easier to use this parameter panel tool, which you can slide open and closed inside of here. And again, hey, just double click in the different cells and type in the values that I want. And that way I can fill in everything quickly and easily. And then I'll be able to export my XML file for routing in Creo Parametric. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.